Why play Heimerdinger mid? Well, he has a ton of early game pressure. He is incredibly hard to engage on or gank. He can easily and often will win 1v2s, and he still brings a huge amount of damage and utility in team fights. However, his burst damage is skill shot reliant, and his turrets need to be placed down well to avoid being destroyed. Heimerdinger's passive grants a movement speed while near allied towers and his own turrets. Heimerdinger's Q constructs a turret which attacks nearby enemies. This works on an ammo based system where he can have three stored at one time and he can have three out at one time. Over time, these turrets build a charge and when full will fire a stronger attack with additional range. If Heimer is too far away from these turrets, they will shut down until he comes back near again. These turrets will shoot the closest thing by default, however, they will target the last target hit by Heimer's auto attacks. Heimerdinger's W fires 5 rockets which deal damage. Any additional rocket that hits after the first one will deal reduced damage. These can be fired all into one area, or a much wider area. When rockets hit a target, Heimerdinger's turrets nearby gain 20% charge per rocket hit. Heimerdinger's E throws a grenade which deals damage and slows enemies hit. If they are hit in the centre, they are stunned instead. Hitting a champion with this grenade will fully charge all turrets nearby. Heimerdinger's ultimate upgrades his Q, E or W. Starting with Q, Heimer places down a large turret which does not count towards his 3 turret limit. This turret works very similar to his small turrets, where it shoots and targets the same and can have its power attack charged with W and E. However, this turret does significantly more damage and all its attacks are AoE and will slow. The upgraded W will fire 4 waves of rockets instead of 1. Finally, his upgraded E throws a bouncing grenade which deals damage and makes the stun and slow area is much larger. For combos, enemies usually sit outside of your turret range. However, if they're just outside, landing an E will make your turret hit them with a powered shot, and landing a W will make the turret hit them with a second powered shot for a huge chunk of damage. And finally, when you're not near your turret, when going for a fight, place down a turret and then land E into auto into W for an auto. For masteries, go for this, it's just great damage. For build order, start ring and pots before getting Leandries, tier 2 boots and azonias. After this, a crystal scepter and hat are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these. For skill order, start Q then E then W before maxing Q then W then E, taking ult whenever you can. For summoners, take flash and ignite. Starting the game, you want to get your turrets set up as soon as possible. There are many good ways to set your turrets up, however this is a good standard, which is having one on the left, one on the right, and one in the slightly back middle. This will give you good pressure and a safe area to retreat to. Focus on protecting your turrets, the longer you keep them alive, the longer you can build up charges for Q to instant replace any that fall. By level 3, you've already got all the tools you need to settle into your lane. Keep focus on farming and harass your enemies with your combo every time you get the chance. When you hit level 6, you can easily 1v2 enemies that engage on you. Between your speedups and ultimate, you're so hard to kill that most junglers won't bother, and most mid laners will simply roam away instead, so keep just piling on the pressure in the mid lane. Entering the mid game, look to push your tower down and roam for objectives. Most bot lanes at this point want to sit mid, so get yourself to a side lane and farm yourself into a monster. Entering the late game, you can one shot most champions with your grenade stun into easy follow up, so turn this into easy objectives. When team fighting, get your turrets set up before using E and W to burst down a valuable target. Of course, you also have to choose an ultimate. Your Q is almost always good, your W is amazing burst, and your E is great utility.